Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to real quickly share with you all of the um, things that I purchased today. Um, I stopped by Dollar Tree. I didn't find a ton anywhere. Um, I stopped by Dollar Tree, picked up a few things there, and also Walmart, picked up a couple things there. And then I do have an itsy bitsy tiny Hobby Lobby haul as well. So, because it's not a ton of stuff, I'm just going to compile it all into one video. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with Dollar Tree. And the first thing I found there were eyelash trim. And I got this purple, what they call fun fur, I guess. But it's eyelash trim, see? Um, I got the purple. I got this kind of charcoal -y brown color. Let's see, does it have a color on it? It says taupe. I really like this color. I don't know why, but I do. And, um, what they call, this one is indigo, but it's like a blue color. I don't know if it looks blue on there to you guys, but it is blue to me. Um, anyway, the reason why I picked those up, um, I have some already myself, but I know some of you guys out there are having trouble finding these at the Dollar Tree. So I thought that I would purchase some to put into my prize packages for my 100 plus subby giveaway. So if you happen to be one of the lucky winners that will win, um, you might just get some eyelash trim. Hmm. Um, okay, so the next thing I got was just a pack of pipe cleaners or what they call Chanel stems. Um, because I'm going to do a DIY with these to send in my swaps, my Valentine's Day swaps that I have going on. I have about four uh, swaps happening at this moment, but I'm going to try and do some fun things with that and glitter them. Um, and if it turns out okay, I will show you guys how to do it. Okay? Um, and then I just picked up another little pack of the sequence. Also because I'm going to be doing another DIY um, with those. And I will be showing you that one for sure. Um, and then I found this pack, or this pack, it's only one, two socks, one pair. Um, but I just thought they were so stinking cute. So there those are, and it says that they are size 9 to 10. I wear a size 5, so we'll see. Um, but they are st too stinking cute. Um, the next thing I found was just another one of these pack of these bright pink um, flatback pearls. Um, and when I see these at the Dollar Tree, I just buy them. I mean, I have this color already, and I do believe I have two of this same color already so this makes my third one but I have been using them on Valentine's Day products projects but it's the only one I seen and it was sitting there lonely all by itself on the shelf so I just couldn't let it sit there I had to take it um, and then I found these two duct tapes this was the only one of this that I seen or else I probably would have bought more of them just because it's Valentine's Day I've got a lot of stuff going out in the mail I have Esther Luca family swap going on. I have another uh, pocket letter swap happening. And then I have um, loaded heart swap going on with 50 Shades of Crazy Crafters. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, please go and check both of them, Esther Luca. And also, on fa it's a Facebook group, the 50 Shades of Cra Crazy Crafters. Um, I talk way too fast for me to get all them words in. 50 Shades of Crazy Crafters on Facebook. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, please go and check it out. A great group of fun, fun, fun ladies. Um, and then, so anyway, I got this arrow one as well, just because, well, I love arrows. Um, and then I found this guy. OMG. Look at that. I mean, that is a sock monkey on a coffee cup. I mean, he is just too stinking cute. I didn't actually purchase this one for myself. I purchased it for 
a friend but that is cute if I didn't have already have like a good drillion coffee cups I would have bought myself one and then the next thing I found was this um, hand towel and I don't know why but I just I love hand towels for the kitchen I guess it's because I spend a lot of time in the kitchen because I cook a lot but um, I just thought this one was too stinking cute it's also not staying with me I'm gifting that to somebody um, so I hope she likes that as well and then the last thing I got at Dollar Tree I told you guys it really wasn't a ton of stuff that I got I mean it was weird my Dollar Tree is like slacking man um, but the last thing I got were treat bags, so I got this print, and I needed these to finish up my loaded heart envelope swaps. I only have one of those going on, but I have a, another swap going on where I'm going to use these as well. Um, and I got this print, and then I also got these mini treat bags with the, um, these are like the zipper kind, like with the ziplock on them. And the reason why I got so many is because there's 40 in this one, and then there's 25 in each of the bigger ones. But the reason why I got so many is because even if I don't end up using them with my Valentine's Day swaps, I do have two kids that will have Valentine's Day parties, and I always make treat bags for their parties at school. So that was all that I got from Dollar Tree. Let me show you real quickly what I got at Walmart. I got this six pack of um, cookie cutters. They were 98 cents, as you can see there. And I didn't get these to make cookies. I can cook anything you want to cook, but I cannot bake to save my life. Um, I usually end up burning everything. So anyway, I bought these just so I could have them to trace I'm going to be doing a project with them, which I will show you. So there's that. And then I found these. No, these didn't come from Walmart. These actually came from Dollar General, but they're also treat bags. Um, and I took this one out and then scrunched it kind of back up. But that's an owl on there, if you can't see that. But I needed those as well. I like to have a variety of things inside. Um, but I like using them for presentation purposes in my loaded envelopes and things. And then the last thing I got were these, and I just thought these were too stinking cute. Um, they are not so Valentine's Day r related that you can't use them for any different part of the year. They are just hearts, and they were too stinking cute. And they are magnetic, um, so I did pick up three of them. I don't know why I picked three, but I did. Okay, so that was all I got at Walmart. What else was left? Oh, Hobby Lobby. I had gone down to um, the t one town closer to me, and I went to Hobby Lobby specifically to buy this vellum paper. Because it's the only place within, you know, a decent amount of driving distance from me that I could find vellum paper. And turns out when I went in there, they were having 50% off of all their paper studio stuff. Um, so if there's anybody out there that is interested and has a Hobby Lobby and needs something, um, stickers, anything paper studio, washi tape, um, I don't like paper studio washi tape. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I do like the washi tape, but it's just always so expensive and I just can't fathom, um, per buying it, but it was all 50% off, but I was in a hurry. So I didn't really get a chance to take a good look at anything. Um, but I did find these, um, vellum papers. Let me see if I just showed you one. You see how it's kind of got squigglies all throughout it, and I just thought it was so good, and it's going to work perfect for my little project that I will show you. It's not really a DIY. It's a um, Valentine's Day embellishment that I'm going to use those on, but I will show you a video on that. Um, 
anyway so those are regular price like 86 cents so I got them for like 44 cents or something um, and then the paper studios on 50% off so I had I bought this paper pad um, it's called love struck I'm sure you guys have all have seen it but I have a couple Valentine's Day cards to make and I bought it specifically for this one sheet of paper not that I won't use any of them and I will like there's a lot of them in here that you wouldn't necessarily have to use for Valentine's Day like this one I love arrows in general so I would probably use all these little arrow prints for any time of the year not just Valentine's Day and pink's my favorite color and so is gray and if you can see um, there is a lot this is not white in here these are all gray and I love the chevron print chevron's one of my favorite prints too and normally I do not buy um, specifically paper studio paper pads because they're only one-sided and I feel like if I'm gonna buy a paper pad it should be double-sided um, that's not true I really have to like the paper pad itself in order to buy it if it's not double-sided um, and this one was 50% off, so I ended up only paying three bucks for it, three fifty, three forty-nine technically. Um, and I needed it. I needed this. I didn't need it. I wanted this. Let me show it to you. I wanted that specific paper for a Valentine Day card that I'm going to be making for my swaps. So. Um, that's the reason why I bought this entire stack. I probably would have passed on this stack itself. I tend not to, I try not to buy like holiday themed paper pads because of that specific reason, but I felt like this one was so, um, I mean, there's a lot of prints in here that you can use without it being really Valentine's Day related. Like this one, obviously, you could use that chevron on another project but you know you obviously are not gonna put the cupid on there if it wasn't a Valentine's Day project but I really felt like like this one I just feel like that one doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's Day yeah it's a lot of pink and red but it also has the grays in there and I love gray I love pink and gray together I love gray with everything I like pink the pink and the gray I like gray and green um, I like teal and gray I like I like just about everything with gray or silver but anyway so that's all I got on this little trip to the stores that are about 30 minutes from me because it's the closest that I have and I needed, I needed, I went to Dollar Tree specifically to get glue sticks, which they always have there, but they didn't have any glue sticks. They had the, the colored glue sticks, but I don't like those. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you like seeing hauls, give this video a like. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if anybody is interested, I do still have the, um, 100 plus subby challenge going on. Um, and you still have quite a bit of time to get an entry in if you're wanting to do so. Um, and if you want to check that video out, it's in my playlist. Um, just go and look for it. I have a playlist specifically that has like challenges and challenge entries on it. So just go and find that playlist. If I can remember, I will link it below. But I keep saying that and then I never remember so I kind of feel bad for saying if I can remember I'll link it below. I should probably stop saying that. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will be posting probably several videos. I'm going to do a couple uh, DIYs over the weekend. Um, one for sure and then I'm going to do an embellishment um, video. Um, for sure and I want to try and do two embellishment videos but I don't know if I'll get them all of that done over the weekend um, everybody knows that I am I work full-time so I really only have the weekend to craft 
Um, so I try to squeeze in every possible thing to do in the weekend. Um, but anyway, um, look forward to those videos as I get them done. I will upload them. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.